Very good evening. You're watching Big Bang with me, Shruti. BMTC driver's presence of mind averted a major accident, but the melee left him injured. Here's more on it. It was 6 in the morning and residents of Saraswati Puram in Nandini layout were still fast asleep. While most in the area were fast asleep, some were having a rather horrid time. A BMTC bus heading towards Saraswati Puram hit a gradient and that is when the driver realized that the brakes had failed. He was unable to stop the bus, but he was quick to realize that the bus could cause a major mishap if not stopped. Hence, the driver decided to hit a stationary truck fully aware that an element of risk was involved. He could have been injured badly. In fact, anything could have happened to him. Yes, he hit the truck from the rear. Since the truck was stationed on a gradient, it moved down and hit a bike and two cars. Luckily, there was no one in the bus other than the driver. There were not too many vehicles on the road since it was quite early in the morning. The driver, Venkatachalappa, decided to risk his life and was successful in averting a major accident. But he has been injured grievously and admitted to KC General Hospital. The bus belongs to Yashwantpur bus depot and was heading to Nandini layout to pick Infosys employees. Rajaji Nagar Traffic Police has registered a case in this regard. Residents of the area were seen lauding the efforts of the driver who, risking his life, averted a major mishap which could have been fatal. Sunil for News 9, Bengaluru. It seemed to be cruel irony at play today when an interceptor ended up causing a serial accident in Hebbal. The shocking incident occurred at around 2 this afternoon near the veterinary hospital in Hebbal. Traffic police in an interceptor were stopping vehicles for overspeeding on the road leading to KIA. They tried to forcefully stop an overspeeding safari and when the driver braked, the vehicle behind him rammed into his car. As a result of the collision, one driver was seriously injured while the other sustained minor injuries. The shocking part came when the traffic policemen fled from the spot as soon as the accident occurred. Nearby residents came to rescue of the drivers and staged a protest against the traffic policemen. A complaint has been lodged at the Sanjay Nagar police station. And moving on, an under trial identified as Muni Raju was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Paraparagrahara yesterday. Muni Raju was an inmate arrested on charges of selling liquor illegally. Excise department's Lothar Chikkajala had nabbed him and handed him over to the police. The police in turn had presented him before the court. Muni Raju was under judicial custody, but last night he was found dead in Paraparagrahara. Today, his relatives took his body to the office of Deputy Commissioner Excise and staged a protest. They urged the department for compensation. Later, the Deputy Commissioner of Police North Zone, Sandeep Patel, rushed to the pace and pacified protesters. Excise DC, Jayasimha, assured them about initiating a probe into Muni Raju's death. <laughs> Moving on, she went to the hospital along with her husband as labor pains had just set in. But what happened there was shocking, literally shocking. Take a look. A lady by name Bharati gave birth to a healthy baby this morning. This is indeed wonderful. 
but the events preceding the birth are nothing but gory, if not anything else. This morning, as the labor pain set in, she approached the KC General Hospital. But the moment she entered, she was allegedly ill-treated by the personnel. She was allegedly refused entry into the labor ward as the personnel insisted that a card be done in her name first and then be shifted to her ward. Even when a hubby begged and pleaded, the staff didn't do anything. Ultimately, the husband had to get a card done. And finally, when a hubby was getting the card done, Bharti gave birth in the veranda of the hospital. It was only at this point that the lady was admitted to the hospital. It is said that there were a number of onlookers, but they stood mute at what was unfolding before their eyes. And when the CMO Vimla Patil was asked about this, she just brushed it under the carpet saying that she was busy in a meeting and cut the call. Fortunately, the mother and child have escaped from the jaws of death. But had it been otherwise, who would have been responsible for it? Is hospital a place for service or throwing attitude? Pavitra for News 9, Bengaluru. Well, what we are going to show you now will appall you to say the least. Yes, we are talking about the security of the country that is at stake. Well, what actually is the issue? Let's find out. Yes, the number of Bangladeshi immigrants in Namma, Bengaluru. It's a whooping 25,000. You feel that Bengaluru's population has increased by leaps and bounds? Well, get ready to be shocked. Bangladeshi immigrants are dime a dozen in Namma, Bengaluru. These immigrants can be seen in areas like Ebaluru Lake, K.R. Puram Lake, Beguru, Marata Halli and Kundana Halli Gate. And they number up to 25,000. And now, get ready to be shocked further. These immigrants are being given the all-important insignia that gives you your identity as the Indian citizen, the voter ID card and the Aadhaar card. But in the first place, how do these Bangladeshis get entry into Indian soil? Are there no proper checks at the borders? Well, that indeed is an interesting point, as much as it is something to break your heads upon. These people bribe the policemen guarding the borders and gain entry. This is their easiest route, as the military men cannot be bought easily. Trust us, these people have valid Bangladeshi passports with them. Today, NR Ramesh, Palike BJP member, met the election officials and submitted a request to impound these identity cards issued. This illegal entry to Indian soil is not beneficial. Many of these immigrants have criminal records. They are involved in ATM thefts and house burglaries. Many of them even have been arrested in this regard. But strangely, the Home Department allegedly has not given the required attention to this matter. Even more strangely, these people are believed to pay not more than rupees 300 to 500 to get their ID cards done. And now, ask the Election Commission about this, and this is what it said. We have received a complaint on the issue. We also have information that they possess voter ID cards and Aadhaar cards. I have instructed the BBMP officials to probe. We will certainly take action. Whatever said and done, this is indeed a matter of grave concern. The sooner the action, the better the prospects of our country. Anand Burali for News 9, Bengaluru. Well, on one hand, Bengaluru Water Supply and Sewerage Board confesses about 40% of water supplied to the city goes waste. But on the other, it adopts unscientific methods to fix the issue. And on top of it, allegations of irregularities have engulfed the water board. BWSSB is the only agency that takes care of water supply to the entire city. According to its sources, 1,250 MLD of water is supplied to Bengaluru on a daily basis. But 40% of this goes waste thanks to faulty connections and breakage of pipes at different parts of the city. 
In 2013, BWSSB implemented a plan called UFW or unaccounted flow of water to stop leakage. It also plans to use Japan's helium gas technology for which officials of the board have awarded tender to Larson and Tubro and Suez Environmental for 8 crore rupees. But in the meeting held pertaining to discuss this issue, it was agreed to that a letter from the companies would be obtained after confining the waterways to only 10%. Executive engineer for new plants under Central Division, Ravindra had allotted tender to the companies without obtaining the letter. He has also violated another norm. Only the chief engineer is empowered to allot tenders whose tender amount is more than 60 lakh rupees. Hence, this engineer is under a cloud over awarding tender to companies. Meanwhile, Association of BWSSB employees have strongly condemned the move of awarding work to private agency, which could have been done with its own employees. ಅದು ಸುಮಾರು ಮಂಡಳಿ ಸಭೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಸಭೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಆಗಿದೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಹತ್ತು ಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟು ಮಂಡಳಿ ದುಡ್ಡು ಖರ್ಚು ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಕೊನೆಗೆ ಮಂಡಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಪ್ಪಿ ಒಪ್ಪಿಯೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏಕೆಂದರೆ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರೇ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೌಕರ ಸಂಘದ ಪದಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ಜೊತೆ ಐಲಿಯಂ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ನ ಅದು ಒಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಗರಾಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಗಳಂಥ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸಾಚಾರ್ಯರು ಸಹ ಅದು ಒಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಡಿ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗಿದ್ರೂ ಸಹ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಅನುಮೋದನೆ ಕೊಡದೇ ಇದ್ರೂ ಸಹ ಒಬ್ಬರು ನ್ಯೂ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸುಮಾರು ಏಳು ಕೋಟಿಗೆ ಲೆಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಲಾರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಬ್ರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸುವೆಸ್ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೈನ್ ಅನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕನ್ಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ಲೀಕೇಜ್ ಟು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಟು ಮಾನಿಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಅಲೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ Our correspondent spoke to the president of BWSSB and this is what he said. A dialogue is already on between me and the private companies. The conditions agreed upon while awarding tender has to be honoured. Their assignment is to stop the leakage. I have also spoken to engineers in this regard. If the companies fail to stop leakage, I will initiate action. BWSSB is reeling under financial crisis but it serves it well if awarding tenders unscientifically is stopped. Anand Burli for News 9, Bengaluru.